In this video, we are going to create this cute little mushroom. And this will be a little fast video. So if you are a complete beginner and want a detailed explanation, then just go to the other videos in, on this channel. Links are provided in the description. I will be sharing the model on the Brown Bear Gumroad page. You can get some models for free and I request you to kindly download the models, leave some reviews and rating for small support towards helping Brown Bear animation. And also go check out the Brown Bear Animation website for future courses and cool blog posts because they are really helpful. Now in this video we are going to cover sculpting, remeshing and texture painting. And trust me, future content will definitely make you follow or subscribe Brown Bear Animation. So I won't ask, ask you to go and hit that subscribe button. If you like the content then just join the journey. So let's start with the video. Hide the light box by going on to the hide button, then simple brush icon, choose a sphere 3D, drag it on the canvas, T is for the edit mode, then change the material by basic material option, then move brush, scaling the size by S key, then X is a shortcut for activating symmetry or you can go to the transform menu and make poly mesh 3D before sculpting. And just use the move brush and shape the sphere according to the reference for the body of the mushroom character. Then Dynamesh, Shift F for show polyframe. Smooth the mesh by holding Shift. Then Gizmo, setting option and flatten. And move the cursor above so that you can flatten the surface. Then again go to the setting option and accept button. Now you can smooth the mesh by holding shift and rotate it from different angle so that you can smooth it out and correct the shapes. Then append a sphere for the top part of the mushroom and move it using gizmo and scale it using gizmo and create a mask on the below side by holding control and then inverting the mask control tap on the empty area of the canvas and move the area above and scale it inside then blur the mask by holding control and tapping on the masked area then scale it and again smooth the mesh by holding shift and remove the mask by control and drag on the empty area of the canvas then move the uh, shape by, by selecting the move brush and creating a mask at the edges and inverting the mask and moving it below and scaling it for getting a edge kind of shape. Then activating the dynamic and smoothing out the mesh. Move it below and deactivate the symmetry so that we can change the form of the top part in a symmetrical way according to the reference. So I'm using move brush and inflate brush mostly then smooth brush is the most important thing you can smooth the mesh every time then here i have isolated the above part by the, that corner button then selected a trim dynamic brush and trimming the edges i'm trimming the edges for kind of edgy feel then using move brush i'm maintaining the curves at the same time i'm using smooth brush for smoothing out some uneven shapes then control drag sorry control hold control and create mask for the top designs of the mushroom then for extracting go to the extract button increase the smooth slider to 100 then adjust the thickness and accept you will get a sub tool then blur the mask by control tap on the masked area then smooth deformation tab smooth polish then again blur the mask polish try different options over there blur the mask and polish for blurring the mask you have to control tap on the masked area then geometry remove the mask then dynamesh for remove the mask you have to control drag on the empty area of the canvas then again i have polished the surface I have played with the inflate option 
inflate and inflate balloon option so if you want you can play play with those settings deformation have a uh, deformation tab have other settings too you can see and check them out or you can watch my other videos for more information about that then I will select the mushroom head where the mask is there I will remove the mask then I will append a sphere for the hands of the mushroom gizmo move it aside then scaled it then again same flatten way and accepted it and moved it using gizmo and adjusted the position of it and duplicated the same hand and rotated it positioned it according to the reference then I have moved the, both the hands in one sub tool and merged the body and the sub hand in one sub tool with the dynamesh then change the size change the size and the shape using move brush then for the eyes I am creating a mask by holding control and for remove the mask control and drag control and alt then drag on the mask area that will remove the mask and extracted this part then again I will go to the deformation tab and polish it then blur the mask then again polish it then move brush for changing some shapes then I will again polish it first I have to remove the earlier, ma earlier mask for control drag then again create a mask for other eye then the same process is there extract then polish blur the mask then polish then I am merging both the eye designs then inflate button here also I am checking them out or else you can you can leave it like that I was just exploring the inflate thing and dynamesh then polish again then manual tweaking manual tweaking to the mesh for adjusting the contour of the eye now I will remove I have removed the mask then next part is the adjustment of gizmo you can hold alt and adjust the gizmo and for side so directly selecting any sub tool you can just hold alt and select that sub tool like here i am holding control and creating a mask again for the lips then using move brush i will move the top lip outside and smooth it with holding shift and move it up more then smooth it smooth it and crease out the lower part by damp sand brush and use move brush for adjusting the shapes pinch brush in the center smoothing then adjusting the shapes using move brush So lips are done and just some creasing with damp sander brush and pinch brush for pinching the surface from the center and maintaining the curve by using move brush and next is the eyes eyes are too thick so i'm just using move brush and slowly slowly decreasing the width of the shape then selected the body sub tool by holding alt and i'm looking at from different angles then i think model is complete and we are going to remesh it so I'm just 
duplicating the body mesh then going to the remesh option then I will turn on half and adapt off and re reduce the adapt slider to zero and legacy mode and just click C remesh two three times until you see a gradual decrease in the poly count then we will just control D and project it the projection mesh will be below the low resolution mesh will be below and high resolution mesh will be above and project it just control D and click project button control D then project button control D and project button you will get a decent mesh then again repeat the same process duplicate the mesh then go to the zero mesh option adapt reduce the adopt size then zero mesh two three times then move the low poly version below and just project that tails by control D and clicking the project button control D is for division dividing the mesh for this also reducing it by clicking Z mesh two three times then project control D project control D you will see these meshes have projected itself for this part I have just Z meshed it and divided it there is no need to project it but I have projected it Then I have moved all the low poly part below and all the dynamic part above. Then I am renaming the dynamic part as part underscore high and the remesh part as part underscore low just for uh, future texturing purposes. So I am doing this thing. Then you can see all low is that this one. Then I will go to the UV mesh. A UV option and then just click UV so you can see that UV is unwrapped more for UV and you can see more UVs are made so creating a UV is so simple just go to that UV master and UV click unwrap click unwrap and it's done now move I have selected all high and choose the paintbrush selecting the color selecting the material and clicking the mrgb button mrgb button then color and fill object it's it's as easy as it's, it's looking just select the color and you are say you have selected the paint brush and then then just paint it and for blurring the paint you have to turn off the z add button or else you can just select or you you can just hold shift button and blur the painted area so then I have selected different colors and just painted out the mesh and you can see the mushroom model is ready next we will cover the easiest way to present your model and take your render out of marmoset tool bag and much more so stay tuned for the future videos